Yeah, uh, the plum tree and the rose. Um, uh, this went to number three on the folk DJ, on the folk chart. DJ chart. Yeah, yeah. in March, uh, and it's done equally as well in other countries. I've had a listen to the album. Uh, I must admit, a couple of my favourite tracks. Maybe don't mind me saying, uh, "Lift you up and let you fly." I like that one. Uh, the sun goes on rising. Oh, goody! Um, I'm going to play that one for brilliant. you. Brilliant! <laughs> I'd love to hear that live. That's brilliant. They were just two of my favourites, and I love the sound of uh, Bill Blackmore's flugelhorn. Oh, it's beautiful! Sound. And trumpet as well. He, play, yeah. he plays flugelhorn on "Lift You Up and Let You Fly," and he plays trumpet on um, two other tracks. He plays trumpet on my solid air cover, which we did kind of as a, as a, as a duet, really, for trumpet and guitar, yeah. which was really nice. Lovely combination of sounds, though, with the, the horn and the trumpets and everything else. This is our sound guy, don't worry, he's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I think we're going we're gonna to have a listen to, uh, I think, the, yeah. the tune, aren't we? It's, it's, uh, which, this is the, which track is I was going to do The Sun Goes On Rising Fan- for you, especially since you mentioned you liked it. Fantastic. Right? Take it away. Here's a wolf at the door I've seen his face before He's hungry and I'm tired Can't keep him out much more And through a chink and the blind I watch him I better step back from the window He's only biding his time Spring follows winter Sun follows shower Things will get better If only I can hold that wolf at bay
Thank Absolutely you. superb. I do like that one. That's Aww, one, one, of, one of my thank favorites, so I must admit. Brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely love that one. Thank you, Nick. Okay, hopefully we can play another one uh, in a little bit uh, from the album. Uh, right, you're currently spending about six months of each year on the road yeah. uh, uh, in the UK, Ireland, and continental Europe, and also the US. Yeah. Um, you have ambitions to extend your range to, I believe, Canada and other places? If I have time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's trying to find the time to get to all these places. The, the, the tricky bit that I'd love, I've got, I'd love to go to New Zealand. I want to go and see where they filmed The Hobbit. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I could never get into those films. No. I must admit. Oh, too lengthy for me. But they're fun. I loved the books. I yeah. loved the books, and and I did love the, the you know the landscape and the films, the scenery. It just really, really did make me want to go there. Fantastic. So, and I and I've got I've got a couple of other friends who are musicians also. They did a tour in New Zealand, and they, I've got a photo on their on their Facebook page of the two of them standing in front of the little round door of the Hobbit Hall. Mm. I think that's so cool. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, hopefully, hopefully you can do that. Like I said, it's all down to time, I guess, yeah, isn't it? Now, yeah. but uh, you know, I'm playing locally very soon. So I, uh, yeah, really I've, nice. I've got some dates here, and we'll oh, give, that, give those a mention uh, in a minute. Uh, one of those gigs are going to be uh, in Penzance on yeah. Friday night. So, so yeah, we'll uh, that's twenty yeah. eighth. That is, so that's uh, next yeah. week, isn't it? But we'll have Tomorrow a chat. Week. We'll have a ch- we'll have a look at that in a oh, sec. Uh, can I not to embarrass you, but I just want to uh, mention some of the reviews that you've had because they're oh, fantastic. Sure, go on. I, I'm just I'm just going <laughs> to praise you for five minutes now. Some fantastic reviews. Views are from people of in the entertainment business. Um, uh, I think uh, it was Mike Harding from BBC Radio Two. Uh, it says you're a great songwriter and a traditional singer and a wonderful guitarist. Uh, lovely praise. Uh, also, uh, Jeff Wallace from uh, F Roots UK. I'm not sure what that is. Is that a magazine? Roots. It's a magazine. Yeah, it used to be called Folk Roots, and ah. then they changed it to F Roots or Fun. Fruits. I never. I, I always mean to ask. I, I kind of know the editor slightly, and I always mean to ask him: Is it Fruits or is it F Roots? Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. It's lowercase F and capital. R, you know, kind of yeah, like, I just like read it iPad as a, or you know, eBay yeah. or whatever. All yeah. of those things. Uh, Jeff said that you were a brilliant musician, uh, sorry, brilliant musicianship, uh, a warm and welcoming stage presence, and a voice as rich, matured, and uh, knowing as the finest thrice distilled Irish uh, malt whiskey. <laughs> would you Would you agree with that? <laughs> <laughs> What yeah. was that? I don't, I, don't, I don't know quite what I said. If you spelled it out, it would probably be like P T S S H Q or something. Yeah, <laughs> nice description. And nice. Uh, there was another one as well from uh, Alan Jones, of course, uh, singer. Uh, likely to make the hairs stand up on the back of your neck. So that's uh, that's, fant- that's really nice, nice uh, praise, there, isn't it? Um, so that's just a name. I'm of course. blushing now. I don't uh, know. Uh, it might be the heat in here. I, I, I'm, it's I'm, that I'm, toasty, I'm, warm I, I feeling. I was kind of red anyway. But yeah, it's, it's great though. I thought. I, 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 got to mention it haven't you uh, to name a few anyway but it's always great to receive positive feedback isn't it now I must admit um, I read the review you did for the Sunday Independent which was March uh, sorry May of uh, this year very insightful um, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to go into it here because it's, it's quite oh, personal the interview, the interview. Yeah, yeah yeah it's weird I mean that's the first time that's ever I've, I've been interviewed by a lot of publications and stuff before but usually it's about the music yeah. this is the first interview that I did I mean she had the reporter had warned me in advance you know she kind of said are you going to be willing to yeah. talk about your personal life because that's what the readers want to read and and um, I mean it was fine it was fine I didn't mm. feel invaded because she was very mm. you know she was very um, kind of willing to have let, let me say what was on the what I was yeah. willing to talk about on the record and what I what what I wanted to keep off the record yeah. you know and um, but it, but it was weird it was the first that's the first kind of big profile it was a big double page spread mm. in in the Sunday Independent which is like the big Sunday paper in mm. Ireland that everybody buys and. Um, mm. And, and it was weird. So it was like it was it was like me as a celebrity interview kind yeah. of thing. I never I never thought that would ever happen. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, it's very, like I said, it's, I read it and it's very insightful. It's not for me to, to read it out on radio, but uh, you know, if, if somebody wants to perhaps know a little bit more personal stuff about you, it, it is pretty much in there, isn't it? Um, oh, it is. It's you know. all there. The whole shebang. Yeah. <laughs> very, very, very good. Multiple marriages and all. Yeah. <laughs> it's. Uh, I, I mean, it's up on my website. I thought it's out there. Why not? Why not let people read it? Yeah, definitely. Um, so, 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 yeah. If you go to the press page of, of my website, you can you can read the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Since the start of your tour, uh, you've been all over the world, uh, and I take it you've been received well in in most places. Um, are there any particular places anywhere in the world that stand out in your mind as being, uh, you know, uh, extremely friendly or a fantastic audience, or does it uh, is it received everywhere like that? Well, I, li- I like all of the places.